My loud Deadpool has a lot of all rated jokes in it already. Way to go, Disney. So I guess we all caught the Deadpool trailer. Will Deadpool save the MCU? Will Deadpool save Disney? I'm going to say maybe not. Um, but it does look interesting and it looks kind of fun. So I'm a little confused. I'm a 50-50 I'm a on this one because... What it looks like we have is a lot of good Deadpool action where he's making fun of people, doing what he normally does. And you got to remember, friends, uh, like and subscribe. I'm the man you may know as he from Our Reviews Will Kill You. Definitely appreciate your help here uh, supporting the channel. But what we have is Ryan Reynolds, pretty much his best role that he's, uh, I'm going to say he's ever done. It's kind of the, the exact role he was built for. I've been following... Deadpool since he showed up in New Mutants back in the day with um, Cable and, and all those other good fellers in that team. So what, what I'm looking at is, you know, the first movie was the movie that never should have made been made. It got leaked and Tim Miller kind of got lucky because they leaked it and there was so much fan reaction that this was amazing that they decided to actually make a movie, which I thought was pretty good. I really like the first Deadpool movie, and I think they keep it small, they keep it meta. It's kind of in its own universe. I definitely dig that. This, then you had Deadpool 2, which had some moments. Cable, you know, Josh Brolin sorely underutilized in that one. But again, I guess if you're looking for the story of Cable, that wasn't really where you were going to get it from, right? You weren't going to get it from a, you know, are you going to get a serious Deadpool movie? with Cable and the New Mutants and, and all that brings. I mean, essentially, the story of of Cable is the story of uh, child soldiers who get pulled into a war that they're not prepared for, and as several of them die, Cable replaces them with better soldiers. So, it, yeah, that's a little... Conv I would love to see that story, right? The story of the... The real story of the New Mutants, where they're all child soldiers... Who end up getting replaced by actual like mercenaries, you know, like Domino and and uh, Deadpool. So yeah, you're probably not gonna get that. But anyway, that leads us to Deadpool three, and this one stars Wolverine, and I think it's just gonna make fun of itself. I don't know how serious it's gonna take it, but we did get to learn a couple of things before we get too far into the cast. How about we just like skim through? The ad, and I thought this was genius on Ryan Reynolds' part, where he's like, they showed like a you know a minute or thirty second clip. But I forget how long it was, but you got to remember these ads are like seven million dollars; they're expensive uh, during the Super Bowl. And he's like, if you'd like to see more, check it out on YouTube, which everybody did. Uh, this, you know, Ryan Reynolds already has twelve million subs on here. It's the third coming of Deadpool, and it starts with you know Wade celebrating with his. His friends and family, because he really has a great life now. <laughs> Even though, I don't know what world this is in, where he has a blonde wig and, uh, you know, Negasonic teenage what's-her-face and yo-yo are there. And, uh, you know, Marina Backer Backerin's alive. There's Al. There's a lot of, you know, people in there. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> And then it shows immediately the thing that has me concerned. And it's interesting because who oh, TVA agent. I you had to have seen Loki to understand what the TVA is for all time forever. And yeah, that's a concern for me because I don't know that anyone's gonna know what is going on. But at least it's like Wade is going into the multiverse and he's like, this is going to be fun. He already makes a pegging joke. Pegging is new, f isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. Good for Ryan Reynolds, just going so hard in the paint. I appreciate that. I also like his other joke he says in here. He says, uh, Mr. Wilson appears you have soiled yourself while unconscious. And he's like, I was never unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like that joke. It's a good joke. <laughs> I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? 
So here he is. He's in uh, the TVA, which controls all the branches of the multiverse. Here's your chance to be a hero amongst heroes. And, of course, they start showing, like, Thor, and Ka he salutes Captain America, which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> but he's like, your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. And uh, I love the montage of him getting ready and him getting slapped in, 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 in the butt. <laughs> and then him taking it way too far. He's like, I'm the MCU's Messiah. I'm the MCU Jesus. Good for you. I'm Marvel Jesus. <laughs> See, it made me laugh. I'm just concerned that they're trying to hook it into Loki and all that garbage. Because, uh, yeah, it is a thing. It's in July. I do love this, too, where it's 20th Century Fox. They're fighting in front of a statue or like a big giant sign of 20th Century Fox because it's dead and destroyed. And he's still Deadpool. And the action sequences look great. I, I just don't know. I really liked Deadpool 2, but I don't know what it, it what it ultimately ended up being. Like, it was okay. People are wondering, is this Doctor Doom? No, it's not Doctor Doom. It's some other guy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's not Doctor Doom. It's this guy. That's who it is. Maybe it's Pyro? I don't know. It says Pyro, which is weird because... He's reprising his role as Pyro from the uh, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, for those of you who don't know. Uh, but a lot of good stuff here. And, uh, of course, you get Hugh Jackman. And and the joke with Hugh Jackman is, if you could just help me up here a little bit, fella. And he's like, yeah, I'll pass. Give me a hand up. So, overall, I think it looks really good. Um, definitely concerned about the TVA. But it does star Marina Baccarin as Vanessa. I don't think they're going to be in it a lot. Brianna Hildebrand and Shioli Katsuni as Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Yukio. Isn't she Yo-Yo? They have Colossus is back. Uh, Leslie Uggams is Blind Al. Dope Hinder's in there. Rob Delaney plays Unpowered Pete, who is part of the X-Force. And the only one who survived. Oh, geez. What a giant mess that was. And then that's where I said Aaron Stanford reprises his role from 2003's X-Men 2, X-Men United, and 2006's X-Men. Last stand is Pyro. That's crazy. Why are they bringing all these people into it? I did see. I don't know if it's going to be a cameo, but uh, you're going to get you're going to get some secret cameos, especially from the TVA. Wow. I'll just give you a hint. Wow. It's, it's Owen Wilson. But who's directing it? Sean Levy, who's like Ryan Reynolds' like best, bestest best friend. He he directed Free Guy and The Adam Project, both of which I liked. And he also directed Jackman in Real Steel, another movie that I liked, who took over from Tim Miller, who did, I thought it did a great job, but clearly ran himself off the tracks with Terminator, uh, Salvation or whatever garbage that was. Terminator for I don't remember which Terminator. It was a bad one. And then uh, and then took over from uh David Leach, who did Deadpool 2, which eh, you know was just mediocre. So I'm glad they got Levy in there. Not that he's like the world's greatest director, but I think he's pretty good. I know it's been rewritten several times, but it's Reynolds and Reese and Wernick who co co collaborated on the other movies, and Zeb Wells, who you may know from Robot Chicken. What's it about? We don't know. Hopefully it's rated R. Uh, we don't know about that either. The release date is July 26th. So, uh, you know, what do you guys think? I am... Concerned is not the, the word I want to use, but I do want to use a word... Intrigued? How's that? I'll give the this trailer... I'm going to give it a uh, cautious 8 out of 10 because it's got all of the Merc with the Mouth stuff that I like. I really like Ryan Reynolds in this role. I really love him in the costume. I love the fact that he doesn't take the costume off too much. And when he does, he's so ugly. Good Lord, is he ugly. But I, I like all of those things. Unlike Halo, where the dude takes off his helmet all the time. This this is this is Deadpool. You want to see him in the mask. You don't want to see him with the mask off. So I think we're I don't think it's gonna save cinema or anything like that, but I think we're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna give it somewhere. I'm gonna guess it's between a seven and an eight. 
If I'm really impressed, it'll be a nine. But let's let's stay conservative, and and I'll give the trailer an eight. I'm projecting an eight out of ten. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Appreciate it. We always engage in all the concourse and conversation. We like it a lot. In the meantime, check out our full-length audio podcast. We do live stream it here on YouTube. You can also catch it on Rumble. Sometimes you can catch it on iTunes and Spotify as we work those things out. Join the channel. Super chat us. Do all those great things and more. We do appreciate it. It's great time had by all. But as for myself, I'm dusting it off because I'm on to the next one.